Visions started with a conversation at dinner. Pieces that I write begin with all sorts of different ways of generating ideas, but this was unique. I was the guest of the Middle Temple in London, where that beautiful historic temple church associated with the Crusades stands at the heart of the complex. And my host was the chairman of the Yehudi Menuhin competition. And the conversation took place about a year ago and he said, you realise that 2016 will be Yehudi Menuhin's centenary and we'd like to not just make it a competition, we'd like it to be a festival and we want to bring back some past winners from the Yehudi Menuhin violin competition. And he said, how about writing a piece for a young man named Kirsten Leong he won the junior section of the menu in competition when he must have been just a lad of 12. And he said, there's just one thing. He said, the concert will be in the temple church. I want you to write a showpiece for him. But can you find a role for the choristers of the temple church choir? And I said, well, you realise this will be the only violin concerto in history with a part for boys choir. And he said, well, so you'll be first. Why not do it? And I thought, well, why not do it? We had a lovely premiere, but I thought I'd like to record this and I want Kirsten to be the soloist and I want the boys of the Temple Church to come back and reprise their role in the premiere. And this time I've got the services of Aurora Orchestra and so we have recorded it. I've always loved to write for voices and instruments together and truth to tell, 75% of my published output is for choir and this was a little bit different because in a way the focus of the work was the violin soloist but yet I felt that the boy choristers with the words that they were singing would bring a whole extra dimension to it, a humanity, and at the same time something rather celestial because they have to go up to some very high notes to just remind us that heaven's up there somewhere. It is certainly um, a very unique um, kind of experience and certainly a different one since um, we string players don't necessarily uh, work with choirs all the time. It's wonderful because, um, you know, after all, string instruments are really like the voice in a way. And we string players always take, let's say, the voice or singers as uh, inspiration. And so it's, it's wonderful to, to actually work with actual voices. John is, is such a, a wonderful choir composer and has so much experience and so much knowledge. So it's always great to learn from someone like that. And uh, I'm, very, I'm very lucky that, uh, that I'm able to do this project with him and uh, to play his piece. And it's, uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy and very, feel really lucky. The most exciting moment in any composer's life is this moment. If you're conducting the performance or the recording, and everybody's waiting and you give them an upbeat and then well, in they come and all of the sounds that you've only heard in your head become real and you actually hear them vibrating in the air now composing is quite a long drawn out lonely business what makes it all worthwhile is that moment Thank you. 